everyone okay so today uh, we are going to start the day with our ic on smartphones virtual reality 3d printing machine learning artificial intelligence and beyond the first presentation is by me dr john davis akara and and i'll be doing the second one also dr prashant girish is unavailable so dr karan bhatia will be talking about innovations in pg teaching and wet lab and uh, dr devika would be talking about machine learning and artificial intelligence in ophthalmology and dr meeta joshi would be talking about smartphone apps in ophthalmology if you have anything which you want to cover in more detail you can feel free to interrupt and ask okay so i am dr john davis akra i am going to talk about smartphone ophthalmic photography this includes not just anterior segment posterior segment photography also so financial disclosures i have a few apps and uh, things related to this but nothing relevant right now firstly you need to know why you should click the photographs it is for documentation it is for expert opinion for tele ophthalmology to monitor the progression regression of several lesion and one amazing thing is when you show patients the images of their lesions then it is very good for counseling the patients get convinced of what we tell them so that is something which in private practice you can use and there are also software to measure the size and area of the lesions why smartphone because the best camera is the one which is with you it doesn't matter if you have a high end imaging device if you don't use it it is useless if you have a smartphone in your pocket and you can use it immediately that is better than not being able to use your high end device and these are portable you can review quickly you can edit you can share you can do backup and they are affordable and it has uses in glaucoma starting from gonioscopy optic disc photographs rnfl photographs slit lamp images and videos and you can uh, compare from the previous visits if you can uh, take photographs of the optic disc or the angles you can always compare from the previous visits cornea you can use different types of illumination for imaging different parts i'll get to that and uh, you can even do endothelial cell imaging if you have if you have the patience for it you can use several adapters you can use it even for recording surgeries the same adapters can be used for recording surgery this is dr prashant girish and we are recording a surgery in arvindai hospital pondicherry and uh, there is a video here which i'll show you on how to use the devices you can get the devices on so amazon first open the camera on 490 rupees the regular camera app will do there are two different ways one is just like that with your hand you are fixing it lamp if you see on the top right there is a qr code which uh, make sure that the flash is off yeah if you can take the qr code that will and go to this video on youtube so that you can if you see can this hold with your hand directly circle. on the slit lamp ip so this is a blurred circle you can just Make and sure that the alignment is, is proper. That is circle. around two centimeter but gap between. If you the come to the correct distance, lens you get the, the sharp lens. circle. If you look Still here, you get the sharp circle. You can see that. Once you get the sharp the circle, correct distance. You zoom a little bit, touch to focus, and take a photographs. Okay. From the eyepiece to get that sharp circle. Okay. So this so is the way to take bare-handed slit lamp photograph. You that is, you don't have an adapter. You just have your phone and your slit and lamp. And to focus. You can take excellent photographs and take by this method. Even videos. I Now, use if you find it difficult to use the phone, I use an adapter. You can always use an adapter. When I need to take gonioscopy photographs so adapter, or 90 adapter, adapter or 70 adapter lens. It has three knobs. One here. Otherwise, I just use my hand. Which adjusts the position of the. Initially, it will be a little difficult. IP is holding. One here, which adjusts the position. Quite cheap. Uh, so, I'll I'll tell you how to use the adapter later. There are several camera apps which you can use, but. nowadays all camera all smartphone camera apps the default ones are good enough if your phone app is not good enough if it automatically turns on beauty mode and ai mode and all those modes and you cannot turn it off you just install open camera that is a pretty good one and the settings for anterior segment photography just note all these flash off hdr off portrait mode beautification mode ai mode all those off keep it in touch to focus metering mode you keep on touch 
and you do a little zoom in so that the outer circle is not seen you don't want that you can crop it out later but zoom in if you want to take direct good photographs change the light illumination to make it comfortable room light if you turn it off the glare from the slit lamp eyepiece goes away so turn off the room light especially behind you if you can camera other settings exposure focus white balance iso shutter speed most of the time the auto settings work if they don't work this is what each thing does you can uh, change to manual exposure manual focus white balance if the photograph doesn't look that good okay and the slit images if you see this has to be focused so you make a thin slit you focus through the eyepiece first then place the phone camera then you touch to focus on the screen and then you reduce the illumination if you touch to focus most of the phones have a focus lock you press the screen for a few extra seconds it will lock the focus and exposure then you can reduce the exposure by pulling on down the slider they are in all new phones now and then you can see all the subtle things okay remember that you have to adjust the exposure to see the thing that you want the camera automatically might pick up something else which it thinks that you want so you can see things like uh, pseudo exfoliation here you can see a decimate uh, focal tear by a laser actually you can see uh, things like this there is the uh, uh, anterior capsule calcification you can see corneal dystrophies you can see decimate tears so all these you have to adjust the focus and illumination accordingly and for the something on the cornea you keep an illumination at an angle so that just behind what you have to photograph is darkness if the background here is brightly lit you will get a lot of glare so change the angle <laughs> of illumination and the angle of illumination is very important because if it's a game of shadows you just change the angle you can see things which you couldn't see before so there is a fish tail of ppc in this cataract which could not be seen in this illumination so you can see a traumatic cataract you can see an anteriorly subluxated microsphere of achaea specular reflection photographs these are taken with smartphone uh, takes patience because it has to be focused perfectly this is taken by a friend of mine with a dslr camera so that you will get pictures like this with the smartphone you will get this you can still see if you got it if you want to convince a patient that they have got it you can take a photograph show them this you can do gonioscopy gonioscopy photographs very similar just use the touch to focus adjust the illumination you can s document all these things you can take fundus photographs by two different methods one is with a 20 diopter lens attachment this is one of the 3d printed ones i have a new device which i will show you later you can use also the adapter on the slit lamp and then use a 78 or 90 diopter lens as you want so these are taken with a 90 diopter lens you can get magnified good images see this video you can see the pseudo exfoliation and then you put a lens you can see the fundus here you can see the wise ring you can see the pvd because you can focus on the pvd to get that so now you cannot see it now you can see that's a pvd and this is the other method with the fundus uh, camera uh, smartphone fundus camera it's a 20 diopter lens you can either use it directly with just the lens and your hands but you need very steady hands and there is a big learning curve if you have a device such as the funda scope which i have made recently or the do it yourself red cam or the made in india red cam you can take photographs and also with this you can take photographs with the patient in different positions the same patient in sitting um, uh, i mean yeah sitting position and supine position in supine position you can see this exudative rd in sitting position it is just barely seen okay so that is dynamic fundus examination is important these are the other methods recently uh, recently means two years back everything uh, before corona there was this article by dr krishan gunashekran who has shown how to take photographs with just a phone now no extra lenses dr amar puraji pujari from aims has also done this and he has uh, made a montage of that as well so these are slit images this is again uh, what we saw just before this is 
a phacolytic glaucoma with sparkling lens particles in the anterior chamber. This is cells in the anterior chamber. This is how you can demonstrate the flow of aqueous in the anterior chamber. So thank you. That is about smartphone ophthalmic photography.